There are many questions about dreams and the whole experience of dreams and what creates them and why it's so difficult to remember them. But of all of them, the most interesting thing is those rare occasions when it seems that your dream shows you glimpses of the future. And this is almost impossible to usually demonstrate to anybody else, except on rare occasions when perhaps you told somebody about your dream when you woke up. And something very specific, detailed, and usually seemingly peculiar when you're telling it. And then maybe a few years later, it comes true. And maybe that person that you told might remember what you told them and say, oh my God, that's exactly what you told me about that dream you had. But usually you don't get any verification uh, with anybody else except in your own memory, your own memory banks. But when that happens, even just all by yourself with nobody else knowing about it or believing it, if you try to tell them, you know it's true. <laughs> when you know that something that you had a specific experience in a dream, and then several years later, you found yourself either in that experience or seeing a picture or photograph of that thing. And you find, you're looking at that photograph, you see it on baby on the internet, and you say, oh my God, that is exactly the thing that I, remember waking from that dream a few years ago saying why did I see these these precise details of this thing and here I am looking at the photograph and of course there are the precise details that I that I saw in my dream I remember waking up thinking my gosh those images of that place or thing were so specific why would my mind invent this and then a few years later, you find, oh my goodness, that's what it was. That's why it was so specific, because my mind didn't invent it. My mind received it as a transmission from the future. And even if this happens only once in your life, uh, it's so specific that it's just undeniable to you that it wasn't just random coincidence and random similarity that it was too detailed, too specific, too exactly the same thing. Even if that only happens to you once in your life, even if it only happened once ever to anybody, the fact that it could happen, the fact that some information from the future could be transmitted to the past through the medium of dreams is the most fascinating thing about dreams. And probably the, the main reason that I dwell so much on trying to remember the dream experience because it's happened too many times to me that I've had glimpses of the future in my dreams. And it's usually a matter of several years after dreaming something that I find myself recognizing an experience I'm in or an image I'm seeing as exactly what I had in my dream. When that happens, it clues us in that the our notions of our concept of time is just one line going in one direction with no turning back. It is blown apart because if if information can be transferred from the future to the past, then that indicates that our the whole construction, the whole landscape of time is something quite other than this one-dimensional line going in one direction. If there is, in fact, a passageway or a, a manner of transmission, transmitting information from the future to the past that completely alters and this notion that time is only one-directional. 
So that's the most fascinating thing about dreams. And the thing that it makes me, seems to make me suspect, is that uh, this passageway is a, is a transmission. And that it usually is a transmission from my mind in the future as a a broadcast tower like a TV broadcast station and my mind in the past or in the present my, in, when I'm in the dream I seem to be receiving I'm the television set in my dreams and the television is receiving signals from the future and those signals from the future usually seem to be broadcast from my own brain so the whole transmission and reception path of this information seems to be transmitting from my brain to my brain, transmitting brain waves from my own mind to my own mind, but transmitting from the future to the past. And in any case, the fact is, even if this is the only even if this is the only pathway from the future to the past, the fact that even that exists at all totally breaks apart this notion that time is merely one directional. And that, to me, is the most fascinating thing about dreams, and it's probably the thing that keeps me constantly trying to recall my dreams when I wake up, because <laughs> if I could, if I could somehow have uh, my dreams recorded and they would be something other people could watch and the information could be uh, scrutinized, I believe that there would be many more experiences and things that would be ex seen in my dreams that would turn out to actually be events from the future or perhaps events from, as well, f from other places and other minds. Perhaps possibly other minds are also transmitting, and then occasionally we tune into their, uh, their wavelength. And so we possibly in our dreams experience somebody else's experience as our own, if somehow the, the wavelength <laughs> is similar enough to our own brain waves. That I don't know. That is harder to verify unless you meet, which is extremely rare, if you would meet the person that was experiencing that and say, I, in my dream, I, although many people have described shared dreams where they both were in the same dream and they even had conversations with each other and when they wake up, they recall the conversations that they had with each other when they were dreaming. So that, that would certainly indicate uh, people being on the same wavelength while they're dreaming. 